Hello YouTube, it is me, Ultra99, and today i got another tutorial for y'all. Today we're going to be learning how to use World Painter and Height Maps for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Um, now it's going to be the same pretty much for Java Edition, however we are going to be converting to uh, Bedrock, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. So what you're going to want to do is download these two programs. World Painter, go ahead and download it, click your uh, version, usually it'll be 64-bit and MCC tool chest. Go ahead and click download on here and do PE quotation bedrock. Once you're done downloading those and setting them up, you're gonna wanna go ahead and uh, go ahead and load up World Painter. Now here's World Painter. Um, you can look up many different tutorials on how to use World Painter for uh, Java edition. It will be the same exact thing um, we're just going to be doing some different stuff, and some cool stuff actually too. Not many people know about the height map feature. Now here's a height map that I have. You can look up height map anywhere on Google, or uh, search engine of your choice, and just look up, you know, height maps. It'll be a black, white, and gray image. Go ahead and save it. Now, these are used so that way you could calculate different, well, the heights. Um, black being the lowest, white being the highest point. Once you download uh, the height map that you want, go ahead and do File, Import, from Height Map. Go ahead and load up the height map that you have, and it will load here on the right side. Now this is a kind of a smaller version right here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, increase the seal by 500%, and I'm going to lower the water level to 40. So if we kind of find the map, you could see here, this is the height map. I made it bigger at 500%. 100% is kind of low, so you can see right here the scaled size 6,400 by 6,400. So it's pretty good, pretty good sizing. Maybe we could lower it, the water so you could see here to 25, for example. And there you go. Very easy to use. Once you're done with that, do OK, and it will import. Once it's done importing, go ahead and you can actually take a look at your land. Go ahead and zoom out. You can see how big it is. Very crazy land mass here. And if you want to, you could even go ahead and view it as a 3D view. Now those are some crazy mountains, but you know, that's pretty much uh, how that's done. Now the reason why these are so big is because actually the scale is still smaller than it should be. You could even uh, put it out to 900%. Um, this will make the mountains look more realistic, but for the instance of the tutorial, we're just going to be doing that. But it's still pretty good. You can have some very cool mountain ranges, like you could see in between the valleys and all that. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and click out of that. And once you're done with this, File, Export, as a new Minecraft map. Now mine's gonna automatically export to my Minecraft saves, my actual Minecraft. Um, you could even just choose uh, the desktop if you want to. And then from here you can name it height map, right, whatever you want to name it. You could tweak all the settings here, the generation of seed, if you want a wall. I'm gonna go ahead and do the wall so we can show you that. Um, no border, let's do void. Um, the size of it, include chest of goodies, let's not do that, I don't, or, yeah, well, why not? World type, we'll do super flat, we don't want any structures, um, caverns, no, yeah, oh, that's fine. So, from here, uh, you just want to, uh, export to 1.12, and there we go. Alright, once it's done, go ahead and just click OK, and you can go ahead and close the program. Now I have the height map right here. Let me go ahead and delete this. There it is. Alright, so here's the height map. 
Now this is for Java Edition. If you're doing it for Java Edition, you could easily just go ahead and put it into your Minecraft saves. But since we're doing it for Bedrock, we're going to go ahead and launch another program, which is MCC Toolchest. Here it is. Go ahead and click File, Open, or sorry, New, and then go ahead and do File, I mean, sorry, File uh, Tools, Convert to Bedrock. Then you want to select the folder. And since I have it on my desktop, it's going to be right here. Select folder, do overworld, yes, all that's good. Aquatic 1.12, make sure to do that because sometimes it's a little buggy with 1.13. And convert. All right, we are done with converting. Go ahead and close that and make sure um, sometimes the program will kind of bug out a bit but just go ahead and make sure to do uh, save and there we go let me make sure that it is saved under and it is all right so we're done uh, go ahead you can go ahead and close it and now um, the program, it should automatically put it into your Minecraft folder once you do that. It will locate it automatically. If it doesn't, um, just go ahead and use that uh, line that I put earlier in one of my earlier videos. It should be looking like this. Um, sorry, not that one. It should look like this one here. Go ahead and just, uh, if it saves to your desktop, go ahead and just go to Minecraft Worlds and then drop it. But you should be good. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. And we'll go ahead and see how the world looks. Now it does fairly uh, take a bit to um, load that world um, on that program. It will take a while because it's doing it chunk by chunk. But once it's done, you know, you should be totally fine. Um, sometimes, depending on the size of the world, it will be bigger. But uh, this is very simple. Nothing super complicated. Of course, you know, it, it's just very basic. And it's cool because you could even transfer these worlds over to your, your Xbox with the other tutorial I did on how to do text packs. Just instu uh, instead of doing resources, just do Minecraft worlds. And we go down here, height map, survival. I'm going to go ahead and load this in creative, and we're going to play. Shouldn't take that long to load, and here we are. There's a chest full of our goodies that we went ahead and selected. And actually what's cool is that since we put it, uh, since it did load in survival, all this stuff will be there, so you could like have some fun on survival. But yeah, here we are. Look at those mountains far away. That looks insane. And it's funny because not many people know how to do this on height maps, and they're very fun, very common. You can make your own height maps, but of course there's a ton of resources on a uh, on, uh, line. But you can see here how big those mountains are. just extremely huge taller than the clouds but that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching see you later